the hearts, the roses, the chocolate. It puts one in mind of comedy. The first clip has gotten so popular, I'm practically fluent. Bikupa Imagen. See? Today is Valentine's Day, so here are some helpful phrases to help with those long distance relationships. Everyday Swedish with Alaric. Y'all get us good. I love you. You're a fiend. You're beautiful. You have been a brister. I love your ankles. I shopped the fast cast name for me. I bought fresh snails for you today. I can't say that on TV. Everyday Swedish with Alaric. I wonder what he whispered right here. Whoa! Red flag! You know, when dating, you should look out for those. Here's sensitive Bobby with some dating advice. This is dating advice with sensitive Bobby. Have Flash EVHS asks, what should I do for the first date? Well, Flash EVHS, you might think a first date is a chance to get to know a girl and hang out. Wrong, okay? The first date's a job interview. Yeah, a job interview in which you interview the girl for a job of making you unsingleized. Here's some questions you should ask her and the red flag responses you should look out for to make sure she's the one. Number one. What do you like to do for fun? If she says photography, red flag! Your relationship will, consider, will consist of artsy, fartsy pictures that will end up on Instagram. It's boring. Ask how many fingers you, number two, ask how many fingers you're holding up. She says anything but two, red flag! Either she's a moron or you're a moron. Number three, Ask her what her favorite movie is. If she says anything like, The Notebook, The Vow, A Walk to Remember, Dear John, or The Titanic, Red Flag! She's too emotional. But if she says anything like Talladega Nights, Old School Step Brothers, or anything starring Will Ferrell, you're in luck. She has a good sense of humor. Number four. Ask her who her favorite artist is. If she says Austin Mahone, red flag! Your relationship will consist of her comparing him to you. And let's face it, the guy's perfect. Number five. At a point of absolute silence, ask her, did you hear that? If she says yes, red flag! The girl's a lunatic. Question number six. Ask if she plays video games. If she says yes, propose to her on the spot. Dude, just get on the knee and just propose to her. She's perfect. Number seven. Ask her why she thinks some birds can fly and others can't. If she has a good answer, call me. I've always wanted to know. Number eight. If she says YOLO more than three times on your date, that's annoying. You have permission to just leave the woman on the date, okay? If you get more than four red flag responses, you must bail out of the date immediately. Now go and stay golden. If you can get past those initial red flags, the relationship can blossom, and you'll want to do something special for that special someone.
Christy, I've had a fairly mediocre life. I started going to the gym and I've started losing weight, somewhat. I got a decent part-time working at McDonald's but then lost that job after throwing too many burgers onto the floor to have for my lunch. I then got a job at that movie theater, the same one where I had only failed to tell you how, about a, how I felt about you that one night last year. <sighs> my pathetic usher boy Sally has barely been enough to pay for gas and I always have to Ask for change whenever I walk to a vending machine for even a bag of chips. Ah, and I think about that night at the movies more than ever before. And that's why I'm here. And before you answer, I want you to know it's okay to say no because what matters to me is that I had to guts to even ask you. See, it just seems that sometimes I'm so wrapped up in my own stuff, I, I miss out on what's even happening right in front of me. <laughs> I know I'm destined for more, and to do this, it's maybe the start of something bigger, something better for me, for both of us. Who knows? So, whatever you say, it's fine. I've wanted to do this since ninth grade. Maybe I think you do too. Wants to get me to know me better, to, to, to. Uh, uh, it's awkward. So here I am in front of you, hoping that at the night movie theaters, when I farted next to you, hopefully meant nothing because it was just probably those nacho chips they gave us that gave me gas. Uh, scratch that, it's a bit too weird. Chris, you've gotten me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, hi, Christy. Hi. Hello, um, hi, uh, huh, uh, what, what, what? <sighs> oh, hey, what's your name? Sadie. Ah, can you give me your number? Huh, usually shows like this have five sketches, but I guess this Wait, show- Wait, dude, don't... play this video! Are you sure? Yeah, put it on. Alright, here we go. Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse. Hey! Are you ready for, ready for? Hey! hey! A perfect storm, a perfect storm. Hey! Hey! Cause what's your mind, what's your mind? Hey! 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 There's no going back. I guess you 
really need to check these things out beforehand. Have a happy Valentine's Day.